Armed citizen stopped church shooter dead in his tracks, now hear what one of the heroes just said. Texas Department of Public Safety spokesperson Freeman Martin has confirmed that it was a local resident who stopped the mass shooting in Sutherland Springs, Texas today. Not a first responder or police officer as previously was reported. The man who is now, rightly so, being lauded as a hero is a neighbor of the church who when he heard the shots he grabbed his own shotgun and went out to the scene. A gunfight ensued between him and Devin Patrick Kelly, who was mortally shot in the exchange. The assailant then dropped his rifle and managed to jump in his car which he was able to drive away in. The armed citizen pursued Kelly until his car went off the road, by the time the police had caught up with him he was already deceased in his car. Who knows how many more innocent people would have died if not for the heroic actions of this one resident. He gives meaning to the saying don't mess with Texas. There is still no clear motive for the shooting which left 26 people confirmed to have been murdered by Kelly in the shooting, which occurred at around 11.30 a.m. Sunday morning, with 20 more injured, ages range from 572 years old. The First Baptist Church records their services and it's likely the shooting was captured on video. In a Facebook post, Langendorf's girlfriend Summer Cadl described how the pair had jumped in my boyfriend's truck and they chased that sick BD down in pursuit until the cops could catch up. He was able to run the shooter off of the road on 539. Langendorf told Xot 12 that he'd been speeding at 95 miles per hour, while on the phone to dispatch while Williford kept his rifle trained on the gunman's car. As they approached a sharp curve in the road, near the 307 and 539, he said Kelly appeared to lose control and his car swerved off the road. That's when I put the truck in park, he said. The other gentleman jumped out, and had his rifle on him. He didn't move after that. Cad lighted that Kelly died within a few feet from her boyfriend. Just this week, the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals struck down Illinois' ban on carrying concealed weapons and gave the state six months to draft a law that legalizes concealed carry. Despite having the toughest gun control laws in the country Chicago remains one of the most violent and deadliest cities. A concealed carry law will make Illinois better and safer. Gun control advocates just need to look at Virginia. Between 2006 to 2011 gun sales went up by 73 percent and at the same time gun-related violent crimes fell 24 percent. Virginia Commonwealth University professor Thomas R. Baker, who specializes in research methods and criminology, said this proves that more guns do not in fact cause more violence. While there is a wealth of academic literature attempting to demonstrate the relationship between guns and crime. A very simple and intuitive demonstration of the numbers seems to point away from the premise that more guns leads to more crime, at least in Virginia, said Baker. Baker examined six years of data from the Virginia Firearms Transaction Center that broke down the number of gun transactions for every federally licensed firearm dealer in Virginia. Background checks went up from 243,251 in 2006 to 420,829 in 2011. In 2006 there were 23,431 violent crimes in Virginia and dropped to 18,196 in 2011. Handgun purchases increased 112 percent between 2006 to 2011 and violent crimes committed by people of using handguns dropped by 22 percent. Guns are a major part of Switzerland's culture. Instead of a standing army they have a militia. Men between the ages of 20 and 30 are put into the militia and undergo military and weapons training, which means Switzerland has one of the highest gun ownership rates in the world. Yet. Switzerland has a low crime rate. In 2010 there were only 40 gun homicides. It's estimated that 2 to 3 million guns are in circulation, but the number cannot be confirmed since there is not a national firearms register. The men are required to keep their guns in their home. Enlisted personnel receive the 556 by 45 and SIG 550 rifle while officers, medical and postal personnel could receive that gun but also the 9mm 6-hour P220 semi-automatic pistol. When their service is over they can opt to keep their weapons and other items. The rifle is sent to a weapons factory where the fully automatic function is removed, 
thus making it a semi-automatic or self-loading rifle. These same people keep hunting rifles and pistols in their houses as well. Gun control advocates tried to push through tougher gun control, but they failed. 20 of the 26 cantons and 56.3% of the voters rejected the idea of keeping the guns in armories. Shooting is a very popular sport in Switzerland with many towns and villages meeting for target practice at least once a week. Over 200,000 attend national annual marksmanship competitions every year. The gun control debate will not stop and it will always be a hot-button issue. At the same time, though, it is hard to deny the facts out of Virginia and Switzerland. Illinois will be safer. Of course, people on the left were already calling for gun control before the bodies were even cold. Without even knowing what had happened and how this sad event ended. It was a good guy with a gun who took out the bad guy with a gun. The police can't always be there and when they aren't it's always better when there is a good guy who is armed. Who knows how many more Kelly would have been able to kill if that neighbor wouldn't have had a shotgun around. Just look at how well gun control has worked for Chicago. Chicago.